Cellular communication is radio communication based on a cellular network. Its specific feature is that the total overall area is divided into cells according to the coverage areas of separate base stations. The network consists of space transceivers, which operate in the same frequency range, and switching equipment that enables to determine the mobile subscriber's current location and guarantees continuous communication as a move from subscriber's coverage of one transceiver to the zone of action of another. The main components of the cellular network are cell phones and base stations. A switched on cell phone analyzes the air, picking a base station signal. After that, the phone sends the station a unique identification code. The telephone and the station maintain constant radio contact, periodically exchanging packets. This is a short description of a cellular communication principle. In Russia, there are several cellular communication standards. They depend on the constant competitiveness of various operators, who enjoy their own advantages of alternative standardization. Quality and power of transmitting base stations, high quality communication with minimum equipment cost, high network capacity, service area one base station at a much lower cost, low signal attenuation in the open air. In short, they have all the listed advantages to meet the needs of a customer. Still, are cellular communications so indispensable and useful as they are depicted? And in fact, we use it as an ordinary working tool, don't we? People have adjusted themselves to low frequencies, though they have certain negative influence on our health. But high frequency centimeter range radiation is much more dangerous. Mobile communication is at the beginning of its range, but is gradually moving further and further. The main source of radiation in a cellular phone is its antenna. The remaining details, a transmitter itself, receiver heterodynes, frequency synthesizer and other parts are lower powered, and therefore there is no reason to take them into account. The microwave radiation hits the body directly. Glass stream reduces the heating, but a crystalline lens, for example, is not washed by the blood, and a significant heating is destructive for it, and it becomes cloudy. These changes are reversible. The process is accompanied by milligrams in the eyes and buzzing in the head. The influence of radiation on the human brain is much less harmful, as the brain is shielded by the skull and has an extended circulatory system. We often hear noises from the phone, for example, in radio receiver columns or sound reproducing device at the time of the call, which is direct evidence that the phone power is not constant. It changes approximately every four to six seconds, depending directly on the network settings. Each long-lasting signal is a necessary pressure on your brain. Communicating by cell phone in your car is extremely undesirable, as the concentration of microwave in a closed space has pernicious influence on the nervous system of human organism. A significant danger comes also from nearby base stations and retransmitters that emit harmful frequency energy with maximum power. The use of mini hands-free kit reduces head radiation and redistributes it to the entire body. But the kit wire works as a separating antenna. The range of super sophisticated and fashionable phones is increasing annually. Technology innovation surprise. The demand rises, the prices are not likely to go down. The number of users increases incredibly. Chatting with friends on the phone is just a pleasure. And the first thing we ask them, how are you doing?